What's up? What's up? What's happening, y'all? Welcome back to the Barber Mosaic. I am Maurice, and uh, yo, um, how y'all doing, man? It's been a while since I've been with you. I'm here chilling at the crib. Um, lot to talk about today. Um, it's gonna be a very exciting week for me as a creative, as a barber, as a photographer, and it's gear review time. Because, you know, I've got a couple of pieces of gear that just came in that I'm going to actually be picking up this week that I definitely want to talk to you all about. Um, I want to make sure that we're all good here. And forgive me, I'm at the crib. There's a very good chance that my wife and my kids will walk through the door at any moment. But um, come on, come on, man. I've got, uh, you know, something just something came in the mail today. And this, this is a big shout out to the homies at Walker and Company, the Bevel brand. Um, they treat me. I, I'm not I'm not going to say that I am an A1. That, that, there they go. There, there they go. The wife and the kids. I'm doing a live video. So it's okay, be yourself. Just try not to make too much noise. What do you think? It's all good. I, I, hey, I'm making a live video. I'm live. Are you talking to me or are you? Say again? No, I'm talking to these people here because I'm live. If you wanna, do you wanna see? I'm live on, on YouTube here. That's I'm, cool. That's cool, I'm live on YouTube, right? I'm live on YouTube, so be careful. I don't want you there. Yeah, be careful for the camera. Don't knock it over. Don't it's knock it over. Be a very bad video. Talk to me. Talk. Now I'm good, but I, I'm doing a live video right now. I'm live. Right now, like I'm live right now. Live on what? On YouTube. I'm live on YouTube. So you can pause and come in. You can't. Oh, I'm gonna pause a live video. You, was, girl. Any, just, anyway. He just said don't make a, don't make too much noise to Yeah, I'm saying hear you. right, right. Because so, be able to hear you. Right. So, as I was saying before the fam came home, as I was saying before the fam came home and started to run through the crib, how about get the comments on here? I need I need the comments. Yeah, I need those. comments on it okay cool yeah yeah as I was saying um I, I'm not gonna say that I am a day one bevel um uh, you know walker and company uh loyalist I'm not gonna say that but I will tell you they treat me that way they treat me like a day one right and it's a funny story I hit up the owner uh, one of the one of the, the 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 big wigs over at Bevel, when this other company okay. dropped this clipper so you that looked, I, 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 I'm I'm doing a live video that live right is now. Not as important as the food you buy to eat. Fam, are you are you are you serious right now? I'm for real right now. Are you serious? So what I'm saying is. I'm not gonna say that I'm a day one loyal enthusiast of Bevel, but I will tell you this, they treat me like one. They have been treating me like one. And a while back, I wanna say about a year ago, uh, this company came out with a, a clipper that looked a lot like the Bevel clipper. And I was upset because I had been following this company, I had been purchasing their products, I had been supporting them, and then to see another company just come and bite the style that I was, you know, championing at the time, it really pissed me off. It 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 it, it, uh, it upset me to the fullest. So I hit up somebody at the Bell. I was like, "Yo, what the hell is going on? Why are they allowed to do this? What is happening?" And around the same time, you know, it, it was it, the company itself. Have been, you know, uh, dealing with Johnson with a with a with a with Procter and Gamble. There was some stuff going on, so 
the, it was a little uncertainty of what was happening, and it, it, it pissed me off that that company used the bevel design, right? So I was like, yo, what is this? Why is this happening? And, and I was told by a really good source over at Bevel that, look, all they did was take a little LCD screen and throw it on our design. It, it's, it, what they did pales in comparison to what we're actually working on. Bear with us. Continue to be loyal. I'm telling you, we're going to drop. We're working on something. We're going to drop this thing. And when we do, it's going to change the game. That's what I was told. That's what I was told. And this is and these are and these are folks that have been working with me directly have never told me anything that I should take for, you know, that's not true. And I got this message that said that there was gonna be a package coming for me. What's my address? Right? So look, so look, so look, so look. I got this package, right? And now I'm gonna go ahead. And and I'm a I'm a let's let's let's, let's see let's see what's inside. Let, let's see. let's see what's in the package. Oh, <laughs> they hit me with the date. Hey, they hit me with the note. First things first, they gonna hit you with the note. Now, if they love you, they gonna tell you, right? That says, Maurice, something special for a real one. Wanted you to enjoy this. First, from the Bevel fam. Man, shout out to Tristan Walker, Rashid, Marcus Harvey, all the homies over at Bevel. Oh man, Lauren the legend, all them, right? So let's see, let's see what we have. Mm. Woo! Look at it's the Bevel Pro. The Bevel Pro. Let me get some light on this, please. Let's shed some light on this. The Bevel Pro. Here we are. This is the Be this is the Bevel Pro. Oh my God. This is fire. This is fire. The Bevel Pro. And this and it says on the back, from fade to finish. From fade to finish. Now, I don't know if y'all have seen some of the things that they've been doing over on Instagram, checking out some of the videos. I have definitely uh, been keeping up with what they've been doing. And just to tell you some of the things, man, it's got a snap lock modularity. You go from clipper to trimmer by simply snapping on and off the hair. So this is a clipper and a trimmer. So what they're trying to do is they're trying to get you to go to the shop and knock all that shit off the table and use one tool this got to be able to run for a minute it got okay it says here up to four hours of consistent cordless power 60 rpm motor hey okay okay this man this this is this looks nice man this this looks nice this looks nice i need I need something to get this open with. I, I should have had all this done already, but it's, it's, it's live and we got, we got time. We got time. I should have had the hookah burning. Then we could have really got into it. Oh, man. I love this, man. I, bro, they are so serious about, about the packaging. And I, and I love that. Let me, I'm gonna grab me a knife. Here we go, here we go, I'm back. I'm back. Got the knife. Open that up a little bit. Shout out to the Bibble fan, man. I know I I, I can. Yo, y'all gotta come to uh, Barbacon ATL. 
Bevel Peeps, if, if y'all want me to come out to um, Barbican, Atlanta, let me know. Well, I'm going to be there anyway, but if y'all going to be there, then we can definitely hook up. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm so excited about this, but. Okay. Here, okay, then we got the box. The box, Bevel Pro, it says Bevel Pro on there. Beautiful packaging, love that. The commitment to excellence is there, even in the packaging. Uh-oh. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. Oh, what, wait a minute. Did I lose a little light over here? It's okay. Get back to it. That's beautiful, man. Look at that. So this this looks like it's a that's a different blade. That's not like the standard like bevel bevel blade. This is different. This is different. Does this pop off? Let's see how this pops off. Boom! It does. Okay. And there is the clipper slash trimmer right there. It does stand up. Okay, and there we go. Should I get some more light on that for you? That's fire. That is fire. I like that. This this is gonna be something different. This is gonna be something different. This is definitely gonna be something different. Okay, so this that that pops on there, and the the pop on. It's a little different from, from how I remember it. Yep. That's a little different. So and it has these buttons on there. I don't know if you can see that, but there are there are these buttons there. Right here and right here. And I'm and if you long press the button. It turns on. So, and here is where, you know, you, you turn it on, I guess. That's fire. So there's like, so this, <laughs> so there's a, like an LCD type screen thing going on there. I'm gonna sit this down. That's, that's already next level, okay. Take out this cushion. And then we have some get bevel, uh, some literature here. Okay. Okay, so what's going on here is this this blade moves. And it, it you can fade, you can fade with this blade. Okay, so this opens up to a oh, does it open up to a one? Bro, if this opens up to a one, that's gonna be nuts. Okay. And so, so you have a clipper blade and a trimmer. Do you have some guards that go with this shit too? And you got these different compartments here. 
this compartment, this is probably like a charger or something. I, I, I guess, yeah. Yep. So you have the charger. And this nice, looks good looking, looks good. Okay, I like this. So this plugs into the, the clipper slash trimmer. And we have another one. I hope this is like guards or something. Please be guards. Look, look, pouch. The, bro, these people are, these people are, ah, oh, bro, the thought and the creativity that goes in the bevel products. It's almost like uh, getting the iPhone. Like, a, okay, okay, we have a guard system here. Okay. I like that. So we got a guard system here. We got four and a half guard. Okay. How does that? Oh, and that just goes on there. And it's, it's a magnetic guard. Yeah, man. That's, that's tight. And it's a magnetic guard. And it's, bro, it's on there too. It comes off that way. I like that. Two. It's one fourth. You got a three guards, three eighths. Yeah, I'm still recording. I'm still recording. I mean, you can go do what you got to do. You got the one guard, the one eighth. Got a one guard, one eighth. That's nice. That's fire. Desmond Mitchell says 330 bucks. Nah, man. Bro, if this can replace... Th th well, think about all the tools you already have that are just sitting there. Think about that. It, oh, they, they, just, then they got a zero. It's got a zero guard, bro. Guess what? I'm, I'm, I'm booked tomorrow. Fully booked. From 6 a.m., to 6 p.m. Guess what I'll be doing? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be cutting tomorrow. Bro, if this shit does what I feel like it's gonna do, bro, you can wipe all that other bullshit off my station, bro. I ain't lying. All I need is a the 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 trimmer. That I can cut kids with. So it comes with zero guard, one guard, a two guard, a three, and a four. And these are all, all magnetic guards. I like that. I like that. If you're used to using the Andis double magnet guards, you know, these, these are probably going to be, oh, am I bad? Yeah, four. It, it, these are going to be guards that I, you're, you're probably going to like. I like that. These are not going to break. These are not flimsy. These are definitely premium. I love that zero, man. I love that zero. You know, we, we always have to get close as we can. And there's another little box in here. What's this little? Well, this has got to be the uh, what converts it from a clipper to a trimmer. It's got to be. It's got to be it. Come on, man. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with the square blade. Ah, stop playing with the with the zero the zero gap, the tight square blade. Stop playing. Can we get that, please? Stop playing, bro. Stop playing, bro. This is so. This is what y'all were holding on. This is what y'all was waiting on. This is what they decided to do, and I love it. I love this. That is fire, bro. That is fire. That is fire. 
I think it, it may be um, it may need to be charged up because I mean this is a this is a, a unboxing straight off the nuts like the pack just dropped today and I haven't cut any hair with it I haven't done anything with it um, the pack just touched today and this is my first time laying my eyes on this clipper and I really think that I really think that we're on to something. Plug this up, see what it, it should it should be able to run plugged up, even if the charge needs to be there. Oh, that's plugged up. Okay. Ooh. Okay. So that's a half guard. It opens to a half. And it is strong, bro. This is strong. It opens. I'm going to show you. What's good, bro? It's different. That's for sure. It lines up good so far as I've seen. Okay, cool, cool. Shout out to Justin Mitchell. Shout out to Xavier Smith. Um, Yeah, it opens to a half guard. I'm fading with this. It opens up to a half guard. I'm definitely going to fade with this. How? I want to see how close it gets. Oh, and it makes a dope ass sound when it, when you close it down. So you can, so bro, do you realize how gradual you could fade with this? It's numbered. Do you realize how gradual you can fade with this, bro? It, cause it goes, it goes in tens. It starts at, um, it starts as, of course, zero, and it goes from zero, counting by point one, point one, point two, point three, point four. It goes all the way up to two point five. So, if if you if you were to start something low, if you were to start something low. And just walk that thing up. Bro, you could create the God fade with this, bro. Xavier Smith said, there's a small learning curve, but they are very good cutting clippers. And then you got the guard too? Bro. Adam and Eve. <laughs> Don't fall too far from the apple tree. The ghetto Othello the more. Oh my god. They speak venomous on the boy. Oh my lord. Oh my god. Don't make me don't make me cut. Carson, come here, you want a haircut? No. Let me add you up, baby. Okay. This yep. I like how strong they feel though. I like how strong they feel. Right out the gate. The sound is there. You want a haircut? Then get out my camera. I love you. Bro, that's it. So I'll be using I'll be using these tomorrow. I'll be using these tomorrow. I'm booked from six to six. I'm I'm using these all day tomorrow. It is what it is. I'm gonna be using these. All right. Um, another thing is, you know, those of you, those of you know, you know, I'm a barber. I'm also a photographer. And those two things kind of like, like came off of each other. Like they, they, they came off of each other. The way it started was, of course, I was cutting hair and I was taking pictures of my haircuts because, of course, I wanted to market myself, promote myself as a barber. One of the young ladies saw a picture of her fiance um, on Instagram, and she hit me up. I was like, "Yo, you take really dope pictures. Are you a photographer?" I was like, "Uh, yeah." 
but I wasn't. I ain't even had a camera. I was taking the pictures with my phone. So what I did was, hold up. You still using your low pro clipper? I put the Andis Master Blade on mines. Oh boy. I still, yo, I still use the low pro clipper. I like the low pro clipper. I liked it. I, I got, I bought that clipper um, when we were out in LA at Barbican. My wife and I, we went to LA with the Barbican and I bought the low pro clipper and the trimmer. I like the trimmer too. The low pro trimmer is just fire. It's fire. The guards are flat, so on wave cuts, it lays hair down. Okay, Xavier, have you had one for a while? Have you had one? Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Um, so, yeah, man. Uh, so, like I was saying was, so, I go ahead, I'm like, yeah, I'll take the pictures. I go to Walmart and I buy this cheap bullshit camera, man. The camera was purple. It was weird. And I, I go and I buy this camera and I do the, the she asked me to do the gender reveal. So I did a gender reveal and the pictures sucked. The pictures sucked, but I had a great time and I kind of got a feel for what it meant, you know, to, to photograph people, you know? So I went and bought a real camera, what I thought was a real camera, the T7i at the time, and I start taking pictures. I'm doing my thing. And I turn into, you know, a, a fairly decent photographer. Like, I know what I'm doing. I'm comparable. I'm, I'm competent. I'm capable. I'm making, you know, I'm making decent money cutting, cutting hair. I'm also, you know, split between cutting hair and photography. I'm doing weddings, like sports stuff. Like, I'm, I'm really enjoying it right now. And um, the problem I've been having was I've got the Canon R5. I had an R5 and an R6. I'm actually filming this live stream using the R5. I'm in HQ mode, right? And this camera is announced, the R5C. It's a cinema version of the camera that I already have. The camera has no record limits. It does not overheat because it was a huge issue that having my R5 and my R6, they both overheated. I've been in situations while I was in the field and both of the cameras overheated on me. The R5C, I mean, excuse me, the R5 and the R6 overheated on me, and I didn't have any camera to use. Uh, Xavier Smith says, the blade and guards are short, so with tapers and fades, you can make the transition short. These are game changers. Okay, bro, I can't wait to get into it, bro. I can't wait to get into it. I ain't lying. I can't wait to get into it. So, so when the R5C was announced, which is a camera that will not overheat at all. It's got two different modes. It's got a cinema mode. It's got a photo mode. Like this is a game changing camera for me because of my workflow. I need 4K at 120 frames per second. I need that. I want that. I desire that. I need 1080p at 120 frames per second. That's what I need. So I pre-ordered the camera at Canon USA and it says the camera is going to be available to ship out April 4th. I'm like, cool. Hell yeah. So boom, I wait till April the 4th, but in, but while I'm waiting, I'm seeing reports come out that the camera itself is being recalled due to some autofocus issues. Apparently in Australia, the camera was pulled off the shelf. So I'm like, oh shit, when am I gonna get this camera? Now I've got weddings booked up. I got 11 weddings booked from uh, April 16th, my first wedding, up into uh, November, or September actually. No, our last one is October, last one is October. Yeah, that's when it's in October. So, I need this camera now. So, I call Canon. Uh, what's going on? Yeah, um, it's April 4th. Why isn't my order going through? Uh, yeah, it's on back order. So, they're saying that the first come, first serve, the first people that went ahead and reserved the camera... Those are the ones that got it. And apparently, I'm further down on the list. And she was like, yo, if you cancel your order and you try to get back in, it's going to push you even further down the list. So I'm like, God. But then I, I know I had an ace in the hole, man. I live in Florence, South Carolina. And the closest camera store to me is in Charlotte. There's two of them. Both really dope camera stores. Uh, Don, Desmond Mitchell says, Xavier, do the open and close button get on your nerves, I think. It will slow me down. How do you feel about it? That's a good point. Stop. Go on. 
That's a good point, and I'm definitely out. That's that. Uh, Xavier, you answer that. You answer that, but I'm gonna answer that too on the next time after I, I use them. So boom. So the camera store in Charlotte. Uh, this Biggs camera. Shout out to Biggs camera. I go there a lot. And there's my personal favorite Cardinal camera, who I absolutely love. There's a bunch of different Cardinal camera locations. There's this guy named Kurt that owns it. He is very personable, very cool. He will call you, hit you up, text you like, dude, this is fire, fire cat. So I hit up uh, Biggs first because it's a little closer to me going into Charlotte. And, of course, they don't know anything about an R5C. They don't know shit about it. So I call Cardinal camera, and my main man, Kurt, said, look, I got nine of them coming in tomorrow. I ain't sure if they all sold, but if one of them ain't, I will hit you up. And I'll say you one. So I was like, all right, cool. So the, tomorrow comes, or today comes, and uh, I got the phone with Cannon. So I hit Kurt up. Yo, my Cannon order is looking crazy. It's kind of like, you know what I'm saying? It's back order. What's going on? Yo, I got one right now. I was like, well, shit, I'll pay for it right now. Boom, I'll overnight it to you. I'll overnight it because he's in, in Pennsylvania. He says, I'll overnight it to the Charlotte store, you can go pick it up tomorrow. So, I'm going to get my R5C, and then I will do an unboxing of that. And uh, that's fire, that's fire. So today, this week is a very exciting week um, from booking weddings, from uh, booking events, cutting hair, going to my kid's game, to me and my son went to go see Rod Wave the other day. So it's a very exciting time, man. The wife, it's very exciting time. Loving it. So um, I can't wait to get in the shop with this tomorrow and report back to you all how much I I, I think I'm going to love this shit already. Because I like, and see, you can't change, unless the clipper is on, you can't change where it's at. The, the placement of it. And I like that. Let's turn it on one more time. Strong. Strong. Feels powerful. So this one is that. Okay. Down. The top button will bring it down. Top button will bring it down, and the bottom button will push it up. See that? Open. That's oh, that's all the way open. All the way closed. Fire. Fire. I fuck with it. So, this has been Maurice. This has been the Barber Mosaic. I'm Maurice. And be on the lookout for more videos. Stay tuned. Do not forget to smash that like button. Yo, all y'all. All, all right, I'm in the running in my city for best of the PD. Okay? Best of the PD for photography, for videography, and also for barbering. It's 7,000 of y'all. I need y'all to go follow the link. Go follow the link. And, and matter of fact, go to my Facebook page, Maurice C. Simmons. That's my Facebook page. You go there, there is a pinned uh, post, and it has the links for all three of those. Please go vote. Go nominate me. This is the nomination stage. It's a nomination, and then I think in a couple weeks, then they're going to start the actual voting. I need to get nominated, okay? So you go to my Facebook page. Matter of fact, I'm going to drop a link in the description to this video. Please go there and you vote. You nominate your boy. It's going to be Simmons Imagery is the name of my photography, videography company. And, of course, Maurice C. Simmons is my name. Please go do that. Shout out to everybody who joined the live, man. I'm going to leave this video up. Much love to y'all. I'm about to get back with the fam and enjoy the rest of my evening. I am out. Peace.